Ladies and gentlemen, good evening to you all. It is a great honor to be standing here in front of you all today to discuss a concept that has kept millions of people united, inspired, and conscious of our collective history for many years. But first of all, I would like to thank and salute Andy and Mike Manatos for organizing this fabulous event. How important it is to look at the present through the lens of the past, to remind ourselves of sufferings many endured, to give us today the freedoms that we can often take for granted. One has to often apply the past to the present in order to view the future. So, what does Philotimo mean? Well, the literal translation means love of honor. In practical terms, it means duty, loyalty, integrity, honor, love, trust, faith, and perhaps most important of all, the pride in being decent. It means the strong have a duty to help the weak. It means we should have conviction in our values and principles. It means we reap what we sow. It means taking the high road and rising above pettiness and triviality. It also means eliciting goodness and kindness through small but meaningful gestures, even the more so when dealing with the most difficult situations and circumstances. It is a totally natural expression of humanity, friendship, solidarity, and empathy. You cannot fake Philotimo. We all live in the imperfect world of the real. Few things are perfect in this world, but I would suggest that Philotimo is a perfect word, a flawless concept, capturing the best of the essence of humanity. It is also a uniquely Greek concept. But as we are seeing and will see tonight, it is absolutely not exclusive to Greeks. There is no literal translation into an English word, which actually reinforces its uniqueness. It is the tip of the needle that threads through the hearts and souls of Greeks all over the world. It is the oxygen of moral authority and basic human kindness. It has been passed down from generation to generation for thousands of years. Here we are talking today of such dignified and noble human concepts invented two and a half thousand years ago. Now to me, the undercurrent of Hellenism, the force that binds us all together, just 20 million Hellenes among six and a half billion people is Philotimo. But today's Greece has seen a dilution of pride and hope resulting from the oppressive economic and social crisis afflicting the country. At times, there has been an absolute vacuum of hope. And it is at such times that we have to delve into our ancient genetic coding, our philotimo, to help where we can. And help takes many forms. It can be giving financial support, advice, 
leadership, or even just a little hope. It is, after all, free to be kind, noble to be decent, and giving more than taking is universally a good place to start. Now, the Greeks have been oppressed for many of these past centuries. From their 400-year Ottoman occupation, the Balkan War, the calamities of the Second World War, the Civil War, to the economic oppression of today. Yet, oppression can give birth to courage. Oppression can give birth to innovation. It can breed philotimo. The concept has been carried down through the generations, has survived the trials of history, an ancient concept that is still alive today. So, in spite of occupation, wars, endless misery and suffering, it is still alive. And just last week, I was reminded of how Philotimo permeates our lives. We as Libra have been vociferous, absolute, and active supporters of Greece during the last years of crisis. One of the ways we support is through the Hellenic Entrepreneurship Program. Libra committed $10 million of funding and mentorship to support entrepreneurs in Greece. And every year, there is an award, and four to five winners are selected. This year, two gentlemen, Socrates Plusas and Xenophon Korkidis, who run a crowdfunding platform, were one of the winners. They won the award, were literally speechless from disbelief that they had won, went on stage to receive the award, the emotion they felt rendered the both of them lost for words. Now, ladies and gentlemen, before I continue, you have to remember that the social and economic situation of Greece these past years has been mired by hopelessness and misery. So a little hope goes a long way. They accepted the award, the award, and the following week, they asked for a meeting with Jimmy, the head of the program. And the purpose of the meeting was to tell Jimmy that they refused to accept the funding they had won. They only wished to accept the mentorship. Our belief in them gave them wings, confidence, courage. So they rejected the money, in spite of needing it, I might add, voluntarily and selflessly. That is Philotimo. Their Philotimo was more important than their commercial needs. And we will repay it to Socrates and Xenophon with our Philotimo. And sometimes one must endure many nightmares just to live one dream. And Philotimo is a guiding principle of Greeks around the world to help govern and give meaning to their lives. If one can somehow attach some form of meaning to suffering, however difficult that may be when sailing in the storm, it can liberate deeper energy, understanding, and motivation to keep sailing. Honored guests, so often in today's world, the urgent hijacks the important. And values can be diluted and even cast away in an endless sea of information. I would urge how crucial it is 
to retain and pass on such noble and humane concepts like Philotimo, and never surrender to the cynicism of those who may suggest it is a dead concept? What would I say to the naysayers, the non-believers, the doubters? Oshi! Oshi! A fitting word for a fitting day. Thank you very much. I wish you all a great evening.